Find a comfortable seated position, whatever that means for you. Let the eyes softly shut. Let the spine be long. Let the shoulders, the legs relax. And for a little while, let's breathe in compassion and breathe out compassion. Just simply inhaling and exhaling with this intention. Letting the mind begin to settle, the thoughts to settle, the body to settle. And just allowing this ease of flow of compassion for yourself as you inhale, and compassion for others as you exhale. Notice any spots in the body, any spots in the breath that are resisting, that are tight, some sort of blockage. See if you can melt any of those spots just by focusing on them and breathing a little deeper. Staying connected to your breath, moving with awareness and ease. Just extend your legs out in front of you. And I come into just a traditional moving Paschimottanasana. So you can grab on wherever feels comfortable, toes if you can, behind the knees if you need to. And really moving from the hips and hinging. I'm going to inhale, lengthen the spine, tuck the chin. And then exhale ourselves down. Moving with your breath, inhaling up. And exhaling down. We'll be here for just a little while, really feeling all of that fascia that run all the way through the back body, from the heels to the crown of the head feeling the interconnectedness of our own body. Moving with our breath, starting to settle in to wherever our body is right now. If the mind is still pretty active, if you're still being pulled away from your asana, you can come back to inhaling in compassion, exhaling out compassion, contemplating our chant for the day, Om Mane Padme Hum. And what this means to you, Take one more inhale in, reach up, lengthen through the spine, hold the breath at the top. And as you're here, I want you to become very aware of your hamstrings and their relationship to your low back. So that as you exhale, you can feel all of that lengthening, feeling that connection through the whole body, 
all the way down. And eventually relax the head as well. Hold the breath empty. And then inhale, coming all the way up to seated with the feet straight out in front of us. Now we're going to do a very similar movement, but this time we're going to grab the backs of our thighs. And instead of hinging so much at the hips like we usually do, we're going to bring our chin down toward our belly button and our whole thoracic spine curls down like we're trying to put our shoulders on our hip joints and then we're going to inhale arching all the way up shine the heart up feel that energy moving straight up from the heart and then exhale and round really flexing the toes keeping the legs active use the strength of your arms to pull your shoulders down and inhale coming up we want to not feel this so much in our low back exhale coming down but really feeling it up through our shoulders up our thoracic spine cervical spine through the neck inhale And exhale. When you have a nice rhythm, just keep moving with your breath and closing the eyes. See if you can feel the heart space, the collarbones, the lungs, the shoulders, all opening. Moving and grinding up any resistance, any tension. Coming back to our compassion focus. Breath focus. Letting any thoughts dissolve. Notice if the legs are still active, toes pulling back, thoughts are still focused, compassion for self, compassion for others, recognizing that we are all connected. So ultimately, it's the same thing. One more deep inhale. Hold the breath at the top. Arch through the thoracic spine. Reach the heart up. Engage Mula Bandha, the base of the spine. And exhale. And release. Relax the legs. And just place the hands on the thighs, palms up or down. Leave the eyes closed for a moment and just notice the shift in your energy. Just from those few moments of concentrated breath, concentrated movement, concentrated awareness. Take our hands back behind us, placing the fingertips facing away if you're able to. It's going to be a little more intense on the arms and shoulders than what you're used to, but you can stick with me 
And first, we're just going to lift our hips. Keep the toes flexed for now. Notice if the shoulders are collapsing. Try and press yourself out and away. And then if you can, start to lift the hips, point the toes, and try and bring your shoulder blades back and toward each other. Opening up the heart. Now your low back is probably doing a lot of work right now, so engage your core and let the core be what lifts you up. And then again, deep breaths, you can let the head fall back if that's comfortable. Closing the eyes, we're going to be here for a little while. You can just come back to lifting the hips if you need to. Just listen to your breath. Listen to your body. Listen to your own practice. Inhaling compassion. Exhaling and giving it away. As we slowly start to come out of this, instead of just sitting straight down, we're going to move toward our heels. Make sure to keep a little bend in the elbows if you have any hyperextension. Coming in to skin the cat and really trying to tuck the pelvis under and feeling that length and expansion through our lumbar spine all the way up through to our shoulders and then we can let our shoulders open our hands spread and deep breaths now you can stay right here or if you'd like start to lift the knees up towards your eyes if you can place your knees on your eyes a little bit of pressure. Again, you can stay here or keeping that contact with the knees on the forehead. Try and straighten the legs all the way up and over your head, point through your toes, activate your legs. I'm going to be here for a few breaths. Just pull the knees, a little pressure on the eyes if you can, or you can take the knees down toward your shoulders. Try to keep the core engaged, feeling the breath down into that fiery core. And again, you can stay here, toes on the ground, or we're going to go for 90 degrees from the floor. And again, deep breaths, point the toes, engage the legs. Make sure the neck is staying long.
knees toward the forehead, chest, with one more angle. When you're ready, reaching away from you about 60 degrees, and then letting the head fall back, deep breaths, use your core, reach through the fingers, press down with the hands, Pull the knees in, place the feet down, and then very slowly, using the strength of our shoulders, if you're able to, we're going to lift the hips and press ourselves back to reverse tabletop. Let the head fall back if you'd like. Hope those shoulders are starting to feel it. Now see if you can feel that warmth all the way through, expanding your chest and heart. You can stay here or start to straighten out the legs. Reverse plank. Be here for a little while. Make sure that the hands, the arms are staying active. The core is staying active. You don't want all the work to be in your low back. Although this is a wonderful way to strengthen your low back. All the way through to the shoulders. Deep breaths. And once again, we're going to send the hips down towards your feet. See if maybe there's a little more space this time to go even farther. And you guessed it. Pull those knees in. If you can, straighten the legs. Reaching up over your head. Taking a little break. And reaching the toes straight up. Gaze toward your toes if you'd like. Or leaving the eyes closed. Pressing down through the hands. And relaxing for just a moment. And reach those toes away. Let the head fall back. Place the feet down, walk the hips back toward the hands, and then start to take all of the weight out of the hands, the soles of the feet come together in Baddha Konasana. Ah, let your arms be heavy as you start to bring them all the way forward you should feel a nice tingle all the way through your fingertips let them come out all the way in front of you offer that energy up to whatever you would like to offer it up to 
head down towards your toes. yourself back to seated. Now you can either just cross the right leg over the left or a fire log is in your practice. Place the right shin on top of the left. Wherever we are, we're going to take our right hand right into that hip crease, left hand back behind us, and come into a nice extension, a nice twist, so you can feel that length all the way up through the lateral side of the body on the right side. And deep breath. And gently switching sides. Left over the right in easy pose or fire log. Lengthening up through the spine, use the strength of your arms. take our left leg out in front of us. You can pull that right heel in, or if you're able to, come to a half lotus on this side where the heel's getting way up into that left hip flexor. Keep that right foot flexed. And we're going to start to walk out toward the left toes, and then over to the left side. So this isn't so much about going down and getting that left hamstring, we're actually looking at lengthening through this right side. So you want to feel the length through the hip as it reaches all the way up and out that right arm. Getting the whole torso up and over that right foot and then you can turn the left foot out. And coming back to center, switching sides. Up and over, and then to the right. And then back to center. We're going to make ourselves very comfortable in a seated position because we are going to be here for a little while. That was all a warm up so that we will be able to sit. 
for 108 very specific breaths. I'm going to explain the breaths first, and then as we move through, I'm going to continue to remind you what each breath is, plus I will be adding these orbs of light so that you can remember what it is that we're going to be focusing on, which bandhas to activate, and how we are visualizing the energy moving through us. So our first set of 27, we are going to be doing a bear grip, which is going to have our right hand facing in. I'm doing the same as you, not mirroring you. The left hand facing out, and then our fingers are going to grab onto each other, and we pull our hands apart and expand across our chest. Now at the same time, we are going to be visualizing energy that is moving from outside of us. As we inhale, we're pulling it in. And then exhale, we're sending it back out from whence it came. Getting this movement of energy going. So that way, anything that it's coming up against, any resistances, any darkness, any tightness, can just start to be washed away in our internal system of focus, expanding the chest each time. Our second set of 27, we're going to place the hands down to either side of us, press the palms down, and then out and away, so that the shoulders and the chest and the collarbone are all expanding. And as we inhale, we're going to be pulling the energy up from the earth, Letting it hit our Jalandhara Bandha, so our chin is tucked, it's moving through our heart, and then as we exhale, we're sending it out the heart, down the arms, and then down and out back into the earth. This is a nice way to meditate on what we take and what we give to this wonderful planet on which we have found ourselves. Inhaling to the center, right up to Jalandhara Bandha, Exhaling out the heart, letting that energy touch our heart and brighten, and then out our shoulders, down our arms, and out and away into the earth. Our next set of 27, we are going to be opening the hands out and down, reaching the heart up, taking the gaze up. And we're going to inhale, pull the energy down, through our heart, all the way down to our mula bandha, and then as we exhale, we will squeeze the mula bandha, visualize the energy moving up our spine, hitting our heart, becoming even brighter, and exhaling, pressing it out through our hands, and letting it spill out over our fingertips. So we're inhaling, pulling it down through our heart. Letting it settle down our mula bandha. And then as we exhale, we squeeze the mula bandha to press that energy up into our heart. Let it brighten and then spill out to our fingertips. And then our last set of 27, we are going to start first by moving through each of the cardinal directions. And it doesn't matter which way you're actually facing. What I want you to visualize is that you are facing east. East is the land of the rising sun. It's the infinite possibilities that every single day offers us. It's what we face. It's what we step into as warriors on this path. So what we will be doing is we will be inhaling in any suffering, any negativity, that any sentient being, any life form, any plant, any animal that in that direction is experiencing, pulling it in, letting it touch the compassion of our heart, and then exhale and giving it back. And then we will inhale, and then we will exhale to the northeast. Inhale, pulling that in. Exhale to the southeast. Inhale, pulling it back in. Exhale to the north, 
Inhale, pull in any of that suffering. Exhale, send out that light to the south. Inhale, pulling in any of the suffering. Exhale, out, northwest, back behind us. Inhale, pulling it in. Exhale, out, southwest, back behind us. Inhale, pulling it in. This time as we inhale, we're going to take a little sip. And then like we're blessing everything that has come before our past, the land of the setting sun. We will bless everything behind us. And then the next breaths, all the way up to breath 106, we will be pulling in from every direction at the same time. And then exhale and giving it back. Then breath 106, we inhale, pull in, engage Mahabandha, so all three bandhas. Exhale out, give it all away. Hold empty, engage Mahabandha. We'll do that for 106, 107, and 108. And then, we will do three sets of pumping our Uriana Banda 15 times. So we'll take an inhale, exhale out, pump the belly 15 times. Okay, I know I just gave you a lot of information. And I also want to let you know that this is rather intense. This is a rather intense breath exercise. So please take your time. Take some recovery breaths if you need to. Pause if you need to. Go at your own pace. But let this whole process be a way to expand through your heart, to open up our capacity for compassion. Okay, sitting nice and tall. Take a few preparatory breaths. And let the eyes close if you feel comfortable or open in just a soft gaze on the screen so that way you can remember all these things that we've talked about. Let's bring the hands together in bear grip. Right hand facing in, left hand facing out. We're going to pull the hands apart and with all of the bandhas open, Moving the energy through, we're going to take a deep inhale in. Pull the hands apart and exhale out the mouth. Keep pulling with the hands. One. Inhale through the nose. Pull, 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 pull. Visualize the energy moving. Exhale. Two. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Three. Inhale. Four. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Keep pulling with the hands, elbows high, relax the shoulders. Eleven. Twelve.
13. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-seven. Hold the breath empty. Place the hands down. Press them down and out. Inhale in, up from the center of the earth through the nose. Right up to Jalandahara Bandha. Exhale out the mouth. Down through the hands and out. Press the hands away from you. Relax all the bandha. Inhale, pull the energy up through the earth, through the spine. Tuck the chin, engage Jalandahara Bandha. Exhale out the mouth. Energy down and out. Engage down in the Harabanda, press out through the hands, pull the energy up, and then exhale it out. 37, we're 10 in. 38. 39. 40. 41. 42. 43. 44. 10 more. Inhale. Engage down the heart of Anda. 45. 46. 47. 
54, take it a little bit slower. Really exhale that energy out and down, out through the hands, back into the earth. And then as you inhale, inhale in, feel that energy coming into the heart, down from that higher space, that which is not yet manifest, all the way down to the Mula Bandha, and then exhale, engage the Mula Bandha, press the energy up into the heart, out through the hands, and feel it trickle out through your fingers. 55, inhale. Pull that energy down to the Mula Bandha, engage, press it out as you exhale. 56. Sixty-seven. last 10 really visualize inhale pulling it in all the way down to the mula bandha exhale press the mula bandha press that energy up through the heart out through the fingertips 72 73 Exhale, press the energy up into your heart, out through your fingertips, 81. Now as we inhale, we're going to reach the hands forward. Keep them up if you can. Reach forward. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Pull any of that negative energy in that anyone or anything is experiencing in front of you. And then exhale as it touches the compassion of your heart. Let it brighten and give out that love, light, and joy to everything in front of you. 82. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale out to the northeast. 
83. Pull it in. Exhale out to the southeast. Eighty-four. Out to the north. Eighty-five. Out to the south. Eighty-six. Out to the northwest, back behind you. 87. Southwest. 88. Pull it up to center. Collect it in your hands. Keep inhaling. Take a little sip. And as you exhale, bless everything that has come before you, everything behind you, and yourself. Eighty-nine. Hands can relax wherever you'd like. Inhale, pull in any negativity from all around you. Let it touch the compassion of your heart. Feel it brightening, purifying, cleansing. And then exhale and give that away to everyone and everything in every direction. Mind. Pull it in. Ninety-one. Now for these last 10, as you exhale, I want you to engage Uriyana Banda. Really press out the extra air. Hands in Gyan Mudra. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, press out, engage Uriyana Banda. 100. 101. This one. Take a deep inhale in. Hold the breath at the top. Engage Maha Bandha, all three Bandhas. Mm. 
When you just can't hold it anymore, exhale it all out. Engage Mahabanda again, all three bandhas. On empty. Six. Inhale, pull it in. Hold the breath at the top. Engage all three bandhas. Move at your own pace. When you're ready, exhale. On empty, hold empty, engage all three bandhas. Seven. Inhale, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Expand the chest, expand your heart, expand your whole being. Hold the breath at the top, tuck the chin, engage Uriana Bandha, engage Mula Bandha, Anandahara Bandha, Maha Bandha, the Great Lock. When you just can't hold it anymore, exhale. Hold empty. Engage Maha Bandha. One hundred and eight. Inhale, pull it in. Easy exhale, all the way out. Hold empty. And then we're going to pump the belly fifteen times when it's empty. Inhale. Easy exhale, hold empty, and pump. Deep inhale, easy exhale, get all the breath out, and pump. Let the breaths come back to normal. Close the eyes. And have the hands in Gyan Mudra in your lap. However you'd like to relax your shoulders, spine nice and long. And notice if you feel a little bit different. And we're going to place our hands right at our hip flexors. And we're going to press down, lengthen through our spine. Take a deep inhale and expand your whole chest. Remember that compassion that we are cultivating as we hold the breath at the top, really pressing and lengthening through the spine. And then exhale. is like filling up the gas tank. Inhale, pulling in. Expand your chest, expand your whole being. And exhale. One last time, inhale. Hold and press, lengthen. And exhale and let it go. And we're going to interlace our hands behind our head. Use the weight of our arms. And just let our chin come down toward our chest. Relax the shoulders, the elbows. Feel that lengthening all the way through the cervical and thoracic spine.
keeping the hands interlaced, we're going to come up to seated, arms out to the sides, and then inhale left, exhale right. Close the eyes when you have a rhythm. Stirring up any of that last resistance, any spots in the spine where the energy is getting stuck, and picturing it moving smoothly up and down the spine. Inhale, coming to center, open the heart, open the arms, reach up. Up, 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 hold the breath at the top, engage Mula Bandha. And exhale and release. We're going to cross the right arm over the left, try and reach all the way back behind us for our shoulder blades, and actually pull our shoulder blades apart. And as we inhale, we're going to lift the elbows, take the heart up. Don't worry so much about the head going back as the heart is reaching straight up. And then as you exhale, you use your fingers and pull your shoulder blades apart. So inhale and reach the heart up. Get the elbows a little higher. Exhale, use your fingers and pull your shoulder blades away from your spine. Inhale, reach the heart a little higher. Exhale and pull the shoulders away from each other. Expand that space behind your heart. Inhale. Reach the heart, the elbows higher. Exhale. Pull and expand. Feel your own pace. Inhaling compassion. Exhaling compassion. Take one more inhale in, with the heart high, exhale, bow forward, keep the arms interlaced. And releasing the arms, coming back to center. Left arm on top of the right. Reach back for the shoulder blades. Inhale, heart up, elbows up. Exhale, pull and expand that space behind the heart. Expand the shoulder blades away from each other. One more big inhale in, hold the breath, reach, expand, expand, lengthen, and then exhale, bow forward. And releasing the hands, we're going to come 
down to our backs. We're almost there. Interlace the hands behind the head if that is comfortable for you. And the heels go straight up. Flex the toes. And then lift your tailbone up off the earth with the strength of your core. And then press your elbows out. You can stay right here, or if plow is in your practice, reach the feet up and over. You can leave the hands interlaced behind to support your head and open up a little more through the thoracic spine. If that's a little too intense, you can take your hands to your low back. Wherever you are, feeling that expansion through the space between your shoulder blades, behind your heart, if you're in plow, start to slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. And yes, we have made it to extend out into a very well-deserved Shavasana. Letting the body sink down. The mind relax. Feeling the expansion available in your breath, in your heart, through your whole chest. Feeling your capacity for compassion, for altruism. Flowing with ease and simplicity. With every breath. Inhaling compassion for ourselves. Exhaling compassion for others. And recognizing that through our interconnectedness, it's ultimately the same thing. Cleansing the mind, body, and speech, so that we might abide in the wisdom of altruism, of compassion. Allowing yourself to come back into your body, feeling your fingers and toes, your breath, 
your thoughts. And stay right where you are, or if you would like, you can find your way back to that same comfortable seated position in which we started our journey together. Inhaling compassion, exhaling compassion. 